Okay guys, the purpose of this video is to make you more comfortable with debits and credits. And in order to understand um, debits and credits, I think it's important to further our understanding of the accounting equation. So remember, our assets equal our liabilities plus our owner's equity. Remember, our owner's equity is comprised of four things. Our capital stock, so this is amounts that uh, the owner has contributed to the business. Dividends, that's when the owner takes money out of the business, so that's distributions of earnings to the owners. Revenues and expenses, right? So remember, expenses are the consumption of resources and the pursuit of generating revenue. And revenue is what we earn when we perform services or, uh, or sell goods. Okay, so let's talk about what are debits and credits. So debit simply means left and credit simply means right. Have an example account here, so the cash account. When we have cash inflows, we would um, debit cash, which means that the left-hand side here of this account, we would put the number over here, and if we wanted to show a decrease in cash or an outflow, we would credit the account. So generally speaking, assets are increased, well not generally speaking, it's always the case, assets are increased with debits and are decreased with credits. Okay, so debit doesn't always mean increase because a debit to an asset increases it, but it's just the opposite for the other side of the equation here. Okay, so a debit increases an asset, and likewise, a, uh, or, or just the opposite, a credit increases a liability, and a credit increases our equity. A debit decreases our liability, and a debit decreases our equity. Okay, so if we wanted to show an increase in an asset, we would debit it. If we want to show an increase in a liability, we would credit that liability account. So let's say if we had account, an account over here that said like accounts payable. So if we had an account here called accounts payable, we would increase it with a credit. The credit is the right hand side of this T account. We call this thing here a T account. So debits the left, credits the right. Okay, if we want to increase equity, we would increase equity with a credit and decrease equity with a debit. So remember from our previous discussions that capital stock, an increase in capital stock increases our equity and an increase in revenue increases our equity. But remember with dividends and expenses, it was just the opposite. If we have an increase in our expenses, that decreases our equity. Likewise, if we have an increase in a dividend, that decreases our equity as well. So the dividends and the expenses, I italicize these and put the stars beside them to, to make, you, uh, make it more clear that it's just the opposite for these two. So over here on the left-hand side, the debits increased um, the assets. And over here on the, on the right-hand side of this equal sign, here on the other side of the accounting equation, it was just the opposite. Okay, So remember, the credit increased a liability, and a credit increased equity. So a credit will increase capital stock, and a credit will increase revenue. But it's just the opposite for these two guys, for the expenses and the dividends. So for the dividends and expenses, a debit increases them, and a credit decreases them. Okay. So just to keep everything straight, the left-hand side of the accounting equation is increased with a debit, and the right-hand side of the accounting equation is increased with a credit. The exception being it's just the opposite for the dividends and the expenses. So let's just take a look at an example. Let's say we earned $300 of revenue and we were paid right away. Okay, so instead of just putting, uh, you know, in the previous chapter, we would just say, okay, assets went up and equity went up via revenue. Well, let's see what it would look like if we were to, to debit and credit these accounts. Okay, so you can see that our, um, our fees earned or our revenue went up by $300. That's what I said, right, $300? So if we earned $300 in revenue and we received it right away, we would show an increase in fees earned by crediting it, and we would show an increase in cash by debiting it. So both our assets went up and our equity went up. Okay? 
What if we paid $250 in rent expense? Let's take a look at what that would look like. So if we pay $250 in rent expense, we would decrease our asset with a credit and we would decrease our equity with a debit. Okay? So you're starting to see now the, di the dividends and the expenses have the same debit and credit rules as an asset because they're just the opposite of the other items that are in owner's equity. Now this T account here is pretty handy. It's useful for us to, uh, to um, when we're trying to analyze a transaction to figure out how we should record this in the journal. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty helpful thing to have. Now notice at any point we have debits and we have credits and well in most accounts we'll have debits and credits um, and we can see here the difference. We had $300 of cash that came in and $250 that went out. So the ending balance would be $50, right? So we, we have an ending debit balance of $50. Over here, we just have one credit of $300. And in the expense account, we have one debit of 250